What's going on, boys and girls? My name is Val G, and I will be commentating for my boy DJ Proximity. And in this game, he goes ham on all these kids. And for all of you who don't know what ham is, it is hard as a motherfucker. Excuse my language, but he is playing on Carrier, a map that I love and hate, mostly hate, because it's just frustrating for me. But of course, he's using the foul. The foul is select fire, which is a great gun to use and a great, uh, great attachment to use. For me, the foul hasn't uh, been nice to me, but watching this gameplay has definitely made me turn the other cheek and kind of want to use it. But he's going on carrier, and he's playing hard points. As you already know, if you play hard points, it's mainly multi team. Multi team, I like multi team just because 6v6, it's, it's very frustrating because 6v6, you have five more other guys on the team uh, that's just. The, that they're taking a kill. They're taking a kill, so it's hard for you to get high kill streak. You know, just and so it's like multi team. I prefer multi team just because it's just you and one other guy. So it's basically multi team. If you don't know what it is, is three v three v three. So it's three different teams, and uh, so basically it's like a little mini version of ground war. Ground war to me is a little hectic for me. Because uh, it's a little more too fast paced for me, so this kind of gets me used to ground war, and I kind of like this just because I only need two more guys with me, and then you know just gives you the chance to really up your game and really uh, let you uh, carry out your own instead of having people take your kills or just supporting you all the way. Um, as you can see, he's running Warthog, Low Start, and Swarm. But I really don't need to explain to you everything he's doing, just because of course you're here, unless you're blind. And on that hand, you're welcome for explaining anything to you, even though you're blind, and I'm definitely sorry for the fact that you're blind. But uh, on that note, he's got the low start and swarm, and of course you saw the swarm. I mean, that's why I like the swarm, just because you are guaranteed every time you get a swarm, it's just ultimate feeds on the you know on the game. They just swarm after swarm kill. But the one thing that he did happen is that he got swarm killed. You know, I wish they'd fix that. I, like, I wish that wouldn't hurt you if you got hit by a swarm, just because it is kind of your swarm, but then again, I guess they were trying to make this a little bit realistic, and the fact that if it explodes near you, of course, an explosion is going to kill you. So, I mean, like, this guy's literally got all the kill streaks out. The Warthogs raining death upon these kids, and it's just ridiculous. So what, so what he's doing now is he's just going on and off the uh, hard points. That's just a little technique, just kind of be able to achieve your kill streaks a little bit faster. What he's doing basically is that he's letting them cap and then he'll take it from them. But uh, I don't want to tell you all a little secret. What kind of teammate am I to expose the enemy to our little secrets or tactics? But uh, so what DJ is doing right now, he's just going from hard point to hard point. What he's trying to do, he's trying to be the first one there so he can cap it. Uh, not only that, it's good for the team as well. Right now they're winning, you know, so it's. It's great, so they're winning and they're still being able to be kill whores. That's what we are in this clan. We're all whores. No, I'm just joking. But, like I said, the foul is a great gun. The foul, I've never really had luck with it. Lately, I've been starting to use it, you know, after I saw this gameplay. And, uh, normally I would have select fire on it, but to me, I, to me, it works better with select, without select fire, just because, um, lately with this game, the way, the, the way this game works is, if you modify a gun that's not really supposed to be modified, especially the fire rate, it, it definitely lowers the damage and possibly might even lower the range. So just so you know, everyone, if you're planning on using a select fire, please try without select fire first. And if you can't really use it that, then try a select fire. For DJ, it works great. Me, personally, it works without select fire better. But, uh, I mean, this Reaper, this, this Reaper is just destruction. Well, not Reaper, um, Lodestar. It's like a Reaper, but on steroids. Like, I mean, this Lodestar, it just shoots as far as you can pull the, the trigger. It's ridiculous. I feel sorry for anyone. Look at that guy. You better go back inside. I feel sorry for anyone who has to deal with these things. I mean, these things are so irritating. These things make you scared to go outside. I mean, it's because of this that I don't leave my house. Because I'm scared. Cause I feel like as soon as I step out of the, de out of the door, excuse me, wow, can't even, can't even talk now. Cause as soon as I step out of the door, I feel like a missile is gonna come raining down. I feel like I'm gonna have a little laser right on my forehead. And it's because of this guy. 
this guy wants to be a jerk and put low stars all over the place. So, uh, the 3741 and, oh wow, that was, that was quick. You definitely just, you definitely just crushed that guy's dreams of capping anything. Jeez. But, uh, so DJ's going good right now and, uh, once again, he's got skill streaks again, and that's why Hardpoint is so much fun and so good, just because it's... Jesus Christ. That's another thing. VSAT, it's always great to have VSAT, and I'm sorry for just, like, jumping around in different subjects, but that's another thing. Like, VSAT are great just because, of course, it's like the SR-71 for Black Ops, the first Black Ops, and... It's just, it, I mean, it just puts the game on easy mode. Sometimes it's... I just didn't want to use it just because it makes the game so easy. But it's always great when you want to get those high skill streaks. That's uh, VSAT is definitely something you always need when you want to get those high skill streaks, especially if you want to get nuclear. Um, so it's always it's always needed. Uh, something as well that um, I've been seeing is that uh, I've been getting the urge to play older games like MW2 and Black Ops, the first Black Ops, just because. Uh, well, the first Black Ops will never. I'll never stop playing that, just because zombies, you know, on the moon and all that stuff. I miss. I miss playing all that stuff. So, plus that's the origin of this game. That's where like all these games came from. But I tried playing MW2 last night, and I mean, it was like it's impossible to play just because it's just so many people tubing on that game just noob tubes all over the place and it's just it kind of didn't make it fun so it's I'm, I'm trying to play it but it's it's like the people that are still left they just kind of want to take advantage of the noob tubes and and they just it just kind of takes the fun out of the game because they're not really playing the game as it should so literally I mean there was a game that I played and I was just getting killed non-stop with the barrage of noobs like as soon as I walked out of the door it's like Tube, 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 all over the place, all over my face, and that was not fun, because I felt violent. But, I'm going to start playing uh, Black Ops as well, just playing zombies again on the moon and all that stuff, because I miss playing all those games. Plus, like I said, it's always good back. It's always good to go back to the classics, you know what I mean? It's always fun. It definitely, you know, when when you play a game to have to play it, it feels like you, you, it feels like you don't do as good. Like me, I... I could play a game, I could play this game for hours on end, and if I'm just not having fun, I might be doing good, but it's just not fun, it just doesn't really give me the reason to go for those high kill streaks or even do good, really. So it's like, it's it's best to play games when when you're not forced, forcing it upon yourself, when you're just having fun, when you're just playing around, uh, and uh, and, and you'll see like, that you'll do better, and if, and if it's like that, just pop in another game, you know what I mean, pop in other games such as Far Cry or whatever. You know, just to kind of get your mind off of Black Ops, because, you know, you know that saying, too much of one thing is is not good for you. So, it, it is true. But, like I said, man, I'm doing good. Uh, oh, come on, you died. DJ. But, uh, the Warhog's reign in death, man. That Warhog, just the noise of that Warhog coming down, man. It's like, I've, been, I've had a Warhog called against me a few times, and it's like, as soon as I hear that, I mean, I just want to run and hide. I mean, that just makes me just want to turn off the game, just completely, just, actually not turn off the game, just break the game, actually. So as you saw, DJ is like 143 right now, so it's at this point where it's like when you're that high, it's like you just want to completely push it to the limit and see how much more you can go. So it's like, he's like on over overdrive right now, and he's just trying to get as many kills as he can, um, not really worrying about the hard point. That's why it's, it's, that's why I like multi-team, because then, you know, you have two other guys that, um, can worry about the objective when you kind of want to just slack around and just worry about the kills. And, uh, so you see that he's going back and forth. Like I said, I will not discuss our tactics with you, but you probably already know them. So, it's almost coming to the end, guys, and uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked this commentary. If you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe. That'll be great. That'll be awesome. And please favorite this video. Definitely know that you liked it. Um, and, dude, I'm sorry. Every time I try to pick up a grenade that's thrown at me, it never always blows up in my face. It's not fun. That's why my face is, I try to keep it pretty.
So, like I said, guys, if you like the video, please like, favorite, subscribe. It would be awesome to let us know that you really did like it, especially if you like the commentary. If you like my sexy voice, hopefully you did. Uh, but he went 160 and four, so that was great for him. Awesome, DJ.